Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, today we are checking out something uh, that I think is very, very interesting. This is the Remet Swordfish Gravity Knife. Now, I'll be the first one to admit I haven't had a lot of gravity knives come through here. Uh, obviously, the most notable one was the XO, of course. And to be perfectly honest with you, uh, this is really the first gravity knife I really liked. The XO was good. Don't get me wrong. Well made. All that good stuff. But I was just kind of eh with it. it, to, it and that's just the way it was. Um, not so much with this one. It, it does need one thing that could improve it. And from what I understand, they are working on that right now. But like I said, Remet Swordfish. Full titanium body. The only thing you're going to see that this knife may be missing is a clip. And I've had a couple of comments, well, more than a couple, um, stating that. You know, man, this knife would be really nice with a clip. Well, like I said, they are working on that. This is the first iteration, if you will, of the Swordfish. It, only 150 of them were made. And they were made without a clip. They're working to add a clip on it right now, uh, is what I was told. So very cool. That's a good thing. Um, the other good thing about this is if you like it the way it is, um, I just checked right before filming this, and they're, they're selling for about $2.59. Remet did give me a $30 off coupon code, so that'll be down in the description if you want to look into it a little bit harder. But if you like it as is, there's only six left of the original 150 So, you know, if, if you like it as is, which I do... I really like it as is, kind of even without the clip. I pocket drop it. I don't have any issues with doing that at all. You know, I'm not worried about the blade coming out. It's really kind of hard to do this behind camera. There we go. Not just because of what you have to do to actuate the blade. I'm not worried about that at all. So I've been pocket dropping it and no issues whatsoever. Um, clip you know in my honest opinion i think a clip with it hanging on the pocket would i think you could still push this down maybe but not really i just like the pocket drop aspect of it i think the clip might add to the potential but not enough to make a difference if that makes any sense at all <sighs> anyway so full titanium carbon fiber you've got a nice You've got a lot of milling going on. Kind of resembles jigged bone a little bit with the milling they have going on, which I like it. You've got the carbon fiber inlay right there. As I said, no pocket clip. Now, this is your actu actuation switch. And like I said, behind the camera, it's a little bit more difficult to do so I can get it on camera so you can see. It it's actually a very, very smooth, smooth knife. Now, once it's out... Get it set. Uh, blade is very solid. There's no, there's no wiggle, no wobble. And I'm not even, you know, that was without even putting pressure up here. I've got my hand way back there. Uh, it's very, very solid. We'll zoom out just a little bit more for you. Now, if you do actually grip it where you're intended to, obviously you can see you've got sort of that, I don't know if I'd really call it jimping. It's more just milling. Um, it locks it into place. Got a nice M390 blade, that sort of tantoish blade. It's kind of a kind of a tanto drop, if you will. I mean, you've definitely got a divine defined edge there that you'd see in a tanto, but then you've also kind of got this nice drop to reverse tanto up here, which I'm kind of digging that aspect of it. Got a hole in the blade, that's really not gonna do you much in this gravity knife. Because, well, there's no real... I hit the table. There we go. But super, super smooth. If you see my if you see my short that I did on it, it's a little bit easier when it's not behind camera. But anyway, nice, smooth action. And I really, really like the way it feels in hand. Um, the EXO was a little blocky to me. Like I said... This, not so much. I just love kind of that 
It has that coffin-esque shape to it a little bit. I just enjoyed checking out this one much more. It's, it's all there is to it. So, overall dimensions, what do you got? Well, you're looking at just under 8 inches, just shy of. 7 and 7 eighths we'll go with. Fully closed, you're looking at... What is it? Fully closed. It's much easier to do this way. Um, four and four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Fully closed. And then your blade length, you're looking at right about three and a quarter ish, right in there. I'll give you some size comparisons here, real quick. PM2, a little bit larger. And then your bug out is going to be just a little bit shorter, but uh, close to a half inch in the handle, actually. And we'll kind of try to get it lined up handle to handle there. Blades are pretty close. You do have a little bit more uh, right there. And then, like I said, the handle, it's close to a half inch longer than the bug out. All right. So now, see if I do it off camera, super smooth. Super, super smooth. Grams, 115. And 4.1 ounces. Now, like I said, pocket carry I, doesn't have a clip, so I'm not going to break the pocket out. Well, I will for you just because. I mean, that's what I've been doing. I've just been pocket dropping it. And it kind of ends up laying more horizontally or diagonally in the pocket. Which, not, nothing too major. I don't really carry a whole lot in that front pocket anyway. So, and like I said, I have no, no worries about this happening in my pocket. You know, I think somebody mentioned a lock on it. No. Do I think it needs a lock? No. I really don't. With what you have to do to get that blade to deploy. It's not like a, if it's bumped and it's an auto and then blade's going to shoot out of it? No. No, you have to do quite a bit of action to get this knife to come open. And to do it accidentally, I just, just don't see it. But, you know, back to the overall. We'll close it up, take another quick look at it. Uh, the fit and finish is done very well. I like the jimping, that you're milling, jimping, whatever you want to call it. On the blade, the action, the spring action right there is good. Snaps back. I like the shape. I like the overall design. Now, the Tanto, not so much on the blade, of course. You know, I, I like a drop point, but it's not too pronounced. So I'm kind of just, I like this part of the blade. So I'm just taking the Tanto portion as a grain of salt. And yeah. I'm digging it. I really, really like this. Uh, you know, I'm kind of torn on the whole pocket clip thing. You know that that's been a that's been a fairly common comment. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just like this one without a clip on it. There's nothing impeding my grip or anything. You know, it just it feels really good in hand. Now, for those of you that would think it would be better with a clip. Right on, like I said, that version is coming out. Uh, I didn't, I didn't really see anything saying like when that one would be coming. So all I know is it's a work in progress right now. So when it comes out, I'll try to get the word out. But this one I'm going to end up sending to KC. He said he wanted to check it out. So I've got to get his Bel Air back to him. So I'll be getting this one in the mail with the Bel Air so he can check it out. Might put it in the Apex Pass Around uh, for people to check out if they would like. So uh, those of you that are in the Apex, if you're interested in taking a look at it, it might be in there pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. But as always, guys, greatly, greatly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out what I have to show you on a daily basis. A lot of you do, and I can't thank you enough for that. So like I said, just remember, 
If this is one that you're really interested in, I do have a $30 off coupon. Not 30%, $30. Which, at the current price, yeah, 30% would be a little better. But hey, 30 bucks is 30 bucks. But anyway, really appreciate it, guys. Check it out down in the description if you would like. Thank you so much. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.